We will ask them to do it because they killed us when we demanded the basic democratic right. Universal adult suffrage. They did not want to give us that until we had to die for it. America sponsoring bandits were killing us. And today they want to maintain the big brother mentality. This, as war veterans, we are not going to accept. It is common cause, common knowledge that uh, uh, this dispensation that we have today is based on engagement and re-engagement. Comrade Mahia has been talking about the 18 November movement that was attended by all people of Zimbabwe despite political affiliation or inclination. We all participated as Zimbabweans. That is re-engagement, which we did. So when we talk of re-engagement, we don't talk of overseas re-engagement. We talk of internal and external, yes. But all should be done in a respectful manner. ZANU PF property was destroyed by MDC Alliance thugs at the instigation of their president who hijacked the power from the back door. And I don't know why America does not tell Chamisa to learn how to democratically take power. They should have punished Shamisa for grabbing power from Togozani Kupe. But they support the young Lumpen. Shamisa was clear from the onset that if he was not going to, to win, he was not going to accept the result of the election. He was very clear that the only fair result was his win. And America and every other so-called progressive nations did not ask the meaning of what he was saying. It was very clear that if they were not going to win, they had merchants of violence. And the international world did not bother to ask them what they meant. But they choose to punish us for defending our sovereignty. Our president was very clear. We, all, we were all very clear that we were not tolerating violence. Our president was asked whether he was going to surrender power in the event that he, lost, he was going to lose elections. He declared that he was going to hand over power. The armed forces did that, but Chamisa refused. And the international community is silent about that. What double standard is that? In our view now, America and other countries, what becomes a fair result in an election is the winning of an opposition party. Look at the contestations that are being done and supported by America the world over. They choose to support losing political parties. Why? <clears throat> because of their hegemony, international hegemony. They want to protect their superiority the world over. In Zimbabwe, the opposition parties, MDC are if, uh, included. The opposition parties are not our enemies. We want opposition political parties and opposing political opinions. But what we will not accept is a person who goes to America and asks for the suffering of our people, extension of sanctions. Sanctions are a crime against humanity because you punish even the unborn. There is no president who suffers under sanctions. It is the ordinary people who suffer. 
And why do they want to squeeze blood out of us? Just because we are black? And we should dance to the tune of America? No matter what nonsense they give us? No. We don't want to be taken back to situations where we thought the white person was our enemy. We don't want that. We did not fight against a race. We fought, we fought against a system. And if this system is going to be perpetuated by America, then America becomes our enemy. Remember what they did in Afghanistan. Remember what they did in, 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 in Iraq. Lying that there were weapons of mass destruction. And when they did not see even a hand grenade, no one punished them. Why? Because they are big brothers. Nonsense. That's rubbish. We cannot have a skewed world where America has, go, has got go post uphill and Africa has got go post in the valley and then someone say, play football. How do you play? When one kick goes straight into the gate and you take years to climb the mountain. We don't want that democracy and we don't see ourselves, uh, ourselves as an inferior race or with an inferior political ideology. What we have here is African democracy. It's not European, it's not American democracy. We define our own democracy. We don't take Abraham Lincoln's democracy definition. That is not ours. Ours is different from Abraham Lincoln because we are not his kings. He took himself for our, for our master, enslaving us, and pretend to be a good friend. Nonsense. Let me read. I just was um, explaining why I said the person in America. We are not inferior in everything. We are not inferior to any, to any race, to any block, to any opinion. We are not inferior. This is why we conquered them in the battlefield. I will now read um, um, our statement. We, the veterans of the Zimbabwe War of Liberation, have been concerned by the behavior of America in the post-election period. The big brother tendency of America cannot be tolerated any longer. Zimbabwe in the new dispensation has deliberately taken a stance to promote international re-engagement with all nations. However, America because of its hegemonic tendencies has slapped us in the face through the extension of sanctions under Zidera. While it's pretending to be a leader in democracy and dialogue, America in reality wants to squeeze blood out of poor nations of the world. They look blindly at the mass murders in Palestine and the war, the whole of uh, Middle East. They do not care about life. They only care about their international hegemony. An international campaign must be opened to expose America's duplicity until the world is aware of the massacres they have con committed in Iraq while it's lying that Iraq harbored weapons of mass destruction. America should also be exposed for what it has done in Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, Iran, and several other uh, parts of the world. 
we as war veterans also want to condemn in uncertain in no uncertain terms the traitors chamisa 